Hello, this is Tom again from Antipoton.com. I am outside where it is raining currently. And wow, it's cold out here. As you can see, I got a scarf. And if you're curious, this thing around my neck is a torque, a Celtic torque. Um, it's nice. It's starling silver. Looks great. And my hair's sticking straight up. Mm. Anyhow, point is, uh, today's topic is going to be ancient Neolithic Europe. A lot of people don't understand Neolithic Europe. They think, uh, well, kings and knights and so on and everything like that, that's that's Europe. When I, when I lived with the Navajo Indians in Arizona, which I did for a couple of years, uh, yet it have been... Actually, wait a minute, it's not have been, it's, uh, it's night time, so it's just yet eh. So anyway, um, that's for all you Navajo out there. They seem to have this bizarre concept of uh, we European folks that we apparently just spawned out of God only knows where. The point is, European people had a, had a, had a quite ancient history. That's actually very similar to the American Indians, if you think about it. Uh, if you go back to the Neolithic period, or actually go just a little bit further back than that to the Mesolithic period, you're talking like uh, the end of the, of the last ice age in Europe. Uh, Europeans, the prim and proper Europeans, they were wearing leather clothing, they had uh, uh, spears and bows and arrows, they hunted, they had these little teepee looking houses of sorts that they lived in, um, various little yurt looking things. They were very much like uh, the Native Americans you, you, that, that, that well, Europeans first bumped into when they got to America. Except at that point they had advanced a few millennia more. But anyhow, um, basically put, Europeans have not always been like we uh, imagine them as, you know, with big cities and so on. I got this knife, for example. It's really nice. So um, when I when I visited uh, uh, Finland, it's a nice little knife here. As you can see, it's not the greatest quality. It's pretty bad shape, I guess. But um, it's a nice little knife. They are dangerous. Never put a knife in your mouth. But the Sami people are a group that's indigenous to uh, 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 Norway and Sweden and places like that at the very, very top. And if you look at pictures of them, they, they look like blonde hair, blue-eyed people living in Indian huts. I mean, straight up, they have little teepee-looking things. They're running around in reindeer hides. They have all the trappings of, of um, Native Americans, but they're not. My point is is that the, 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 the history of, uh, of, of the human race is actually very, very similar when you go back in time far enough and look around. I'm writing a book, actually I've already written a book, I'm in the final stages of reviewing it, that involves Neolithic uh, Britain. Neolithic period, the one that comes after the Mesolithic period, starts at maybe, maybe 10,000 BC, depending on where you are in Europe, and it starts with the advent of farming. In reality, it's probably more around 6,000 BC, depending on where you are. Mine takes place in the year 5500 BC. And at that point, uh, Europeans are roughing it. I mean, they live in small villages. They have long houses and, and various mud houses and such. And they don't run around with metal or anything. They have flint weapons. They have bows and arrows. Uh, obsidian was a common material for daggers and knives and such. Um, uh, people had a tendency in the summer to trot around wearing, well, not very much, and uh, they were covering themselves often with with uh, uh, pigments and so on. Very, very interesting time period. The um, uh, Europeans, uh, are, are people think about European uh, ancient stuff, they think about things like this. This is a tiny representation of a class two monolith from uh, uh, Caledonia, <clears throat> which is part of what used to be Pickland, which is what is now called Scotland. The people that made my uh, my nice little um, scarf. Anyhow, um, th that's actually much more modern, uh, uh, much more modern construct, specifically uh, from the Bronze Age or sometime like that. The point is, the all these cultures you think of, the Celts and the Picts and everything like that. All of this is much later, and and many thousands of years ago, the European people were running around doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But that's not to preclude other groups as well. Keeping in mind that the the Native Americans, for example, at this time, 
were already deeply, deeply ingrained in America and had journeyed all over the place. The Ath Athabascan people, for example, who the Navajos uh, came from, and quite frankly, a pile of different types of Indians, they, they've, they, they by this point had traversed most of the uh, North American continent, and uh, Indians were even heading down into South America and so on. Actually, 5,500, they were probably already down there for actually quite a while. So, um, uh, Japan was fully populated at that point. Yet, we don't have much of any recorded history, hence prehistory, is why it's called prehistoric. And it kind of bothers me that nobody knows anything about this. Well, scientists do, but I mean, the average common person walking around the street doesn't know much of anything about this. My hair looks funny. So, so much happened back then. You should definitely read my book. Uh, it's called Ember of a New World. And you can go to emberofanewworld.com and, well, look up the information about it. It'll probably actually be published in March. But, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Here's a good book to read. Is this backwards? Probably backwards. So, it is called, I'll tell you since it's probably backwards in the video, The Lost Civilizations of the Stone Age by Richard uh, Rudley, R-U-D-G-L-E-Y. The Lost Civilizations of the Stone Age. This will go on into detail and tell you a lot about the ancient peoples that used to live during those times. It's very interesting to, to look into. If you're, if, you're, if you're Asian, European, it doesn't matter what you are, you should look back and find out what happened with your people around the Neolithic time period, the Mesolithic time period, or even earlier than that, like the Paleolithic time periods. So much uh, of vast culture and, and history is just gone. Well, not documented history, but... Interesting stuff, but anyhow, um, I'm going to sign off now before I freeze to death. Bye-bye. Uh,